Outlaw Nation. Yeah. What's up with your man? It's the final battle. Black Ball Comics. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, Renaissance. New Marvel Age. Oh, yeah, New Marvel. Oh, yeah. Old 2, baby. That's what's up. Mignola. Do you like Mignola? met Derek Robertson at the first Seattle Emerald City Comic Con. The first one? Yeah. He drew a drawing of Wolverine and Punisher. Each on uh, that issue of Punisher when Punisher was, was it 16, 17, 15, 16? Punisher versus Wolverine. Yeah, man, I got that shit. Oh my god, look at this motherfucker right here. <laughs> First appearance of this fucked up bastard. Frenchie, what's up, man? Where are you from? Issue 37. Got this on the Ebays. Oh, fuck. I don't remember how much. Oh. I'll say like 25 bucks. Yeah, and look for newsstand copies of X Force and Ultimates Volume One and Two for sure, and uh, New X Men Grant Morrison Quietly Run for sure, man. This is again New Marvel, this Milligan All Red Run that started with issue one sixteen. This is one of the things that got me back into comics. That ordered this off the eBay's. I found a copy of this a while ago. I just wanted to get two and I got a deal on it. It was like two bucks. Four dollars shipping. New stand copy, man. Boba Fett. Enemy of the Empire. This is a... This is, this is, what's up, man? Wagner? All right. Yeah. <sighs> Alterna Comics is turning them out. Uh, I recommend it. I'm going to give this to... Friend of mine, uh, his stepson is like eight years old. So this is such a good story. This is such a good story. This is fun. This is fun. It's a fucking dollar fifty. Alterna has a buyback program. What the fuck more do you want? This is such a great book. It's only issue two though. All right. So, uh, the rest of these, yeah, the rest of these are from. B&L Comics, man. They had a 50% off sale today. That's right, in the Cleveland area. The first weekend after Labor Day weekend, they do it. Friday, Saturday, 50% off. Anyway, Pearl Harbor number dose. Look at the back of this. This is so fucking awesome. Shit. Chill in the fire. <clears throat> These are my reader copies. I just got issue uh, one and issue three. Um, I want to get these in near mint, though, but I can't wait to read them. 
I love historical comics or documentary comics. <clears throat> Not just any kind, but just, I don't know, like, this definitely drew my eye. John Dillinger, Bags Diamond, Machine Gun Kelly. Hello, this is good shit. Number seven. This is such a great condition, too. Yeah. They had an issue eight, and I checked out the condition, and when I was done, my fingers were black, <laughs> covered with ink, and the paper was, like, moist. It was gnarly. Yeah, it was... <clears throat> I dig No Hero. I love No Hero. And, um, I grabbed this, for sure. Uh, first issue. Uh, these are great. Uh, please read them. <clears throat> Fictional. Fictional. Sequential. Historical. Fictional. Dig it. It's so good. Jason and the Argonauts. This is the first issue of this. Um, I got like issue three a while back, but once again, stuff that's historical. Um, books, stories, adaptations into comics. Not all of them, just like key stuff like that. And like this. I already got a copy of this I got at this record shop in Royal Oak, Michigan. But, um, I found this one and I figured this will be my reader copy. The Atomic Bombing of Hiroshima. Shit, a survivor's true story. Wow. Yeah, he saw it. One of those things you're only going to see once. Because your eyeballs ain't going to work afterwards. Alright, so, um, significance with this. This is the subscription cover, yeah, sure. Uh, but, William Ray. Okay, Will, W-R-A-Y, YouTube that name. Please. YouTube, William Ray, Superhero. Do it. Thank you. And last but never least, Glenn Danzig. Fucking Frank Rosetta cover is so awesome. This is beautiful. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. Peace.